In the garden, there's a caterpillar and a snail, and they're basically best friends. They hang out 24-7, they do dinner, movie nights, crafts, oh, and they're like really into cosplay on top of like whatever else caterpillars and snails do, like eat leaves or something. Anyways, one day they're on their way to a party that's right outside the garden, and they have to go through the fence to get there. So the caterpillar goes right through, but the snail is stuck. Her shell is just too big and it won't fit under the wire. So she's like, crap, I can't get through. Maybe like, can you lift up the wire? Or maybe we can build a little bridge or something. And the caterpillar's like, dude, just go under. But she can't. There's just no way that the shell is going to fit. And the caterpillar's like, go under. Come on, we're going to be late. And I'm trying to hook up with that super cute ladybug. But it's not happening. The shell will not fit under the wire. And at this point, Snail's getting kind of frustrated because it's not like she doesn't want to go to the party. But for some reason, Caterpillar just isn't getting it. Yeah, it's not that easy for me. I just can't crawl under the fence like you can. So I would really appreciate your help here. Maybe we can like go a different way. or the And this just like sets the Caterpillar off. What the heck? Just because I can crawl under stuff doesn't mean that I have it easy. Do you even know what it's like to have 16 feet? You don't, because finding shoes is a complete nightmare. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not saying you have it easy. I'm just saying I can't go under the fence because of my shell. That's it. I have a shell and you don't. And there's some stuff that's easier for you that's harder for me. Just like I don't know jack about finding shoes because I don't have feet. Caterpillar thinks about this for a second and realizes the snail is right. I mean, he's never had to think about shells or slimy trails, and that's a privilege that the snail has never had because she has to think about that stuff all the time. That's part of being a snail. And it's kind of like that for everyone, right? I mean, we all have our own struggles and challenges, and some of them are small, and some of them are huge and really unfair and beyond our control. And a lot of the time, it can be hard to see what someone else deals with because you've never been in their shoes or shell. I mean, like, maybe you're gay or trans, have a disability or different religion, or of course the obvious one, you're a member of a different race. I don't know what it's like to be you, and you don't know what it's like to be me. So it's really important to stop and try and see the other side so we can help each other overcome those obstacles together. It's like sometimes you're the snail and sometimes you're the caterpillar. Oh yeah, okay, so then the snail and the caterpillar figured out that if they went to the other side of the garden, they could get through a little break in the fence. And while it took a little longer to get to the party, they did the trip together, which is what made it so great. So they got to the party, the caterpillar hooked up with the ladybug, snail taught everyone how to do the wobble, and the party was everything. The end. This video was illustrated by the very talented and lovely Cat Black and written and narrated by yours truly, Cheska Lee. Please check out Cat's channel and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!